Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have new lighting that I'm so excited about. I got some soft boxes from Amazon for like 64 bucks and I'm really excited to see how they work with a tutorial. So let me know what you think of the lighting um, compared to my other videos. But anyways, today I'm going to be doing this eye makeup look. This is basically my first attempt at a cut crease. So I actually really like the way it came out. These lashes are huge. Um, I didn't realize they were so big, but I think it all just came together really well. So if you would like to see how I achieved this look, please just keep on watching. So I'm going to start out by priming my eyelids with the Better Skin Concealer, and I'm using the shade Light Medium. And then I'm going to apply that all over the lid and set it with a powder. I'm using the Airspun Loose Powder, and you just want to set that so your eyeshadow goes on a lot more smoothly. Then I'm going to use the Morphe 35O palette. I love this palette, and an M441 brush and I'm going to take this like orange tan color and apply it straight to the crease um, just as a nice transition shade and then I'm going to move on to a little bit of a deeper orange just to deepen up the crease a little more and I'm going to apply it to the same spot with the same brush Then you want to make sure you're starting to flick out the eyeshadow in the kind of shape that you would like it to be for your cut crease um, and then next I'm going to take like a reddish color and I'm going to apply that over the same area with the same brush again and also flicking it out towards the end of the brow. And then I'm going to take this really dark deep red and a smaller brush and it's still a blending brush and I'm just going to add that more directly into the crease just to set up where we want to cut the crease at. And you want to make sure to just blend that out again. I'm going back in with no extra product on that M441 brush just to make sure there's no harsh lines. And then I'm going to take my Better Skin Concealer again with a more precise brush to carve out where I would like to cut the crease at. So now I'm just spraying my brush with any kind of setting spray just to bring out the pigment of this glitter color. And this is a gorgeous color and I'm just going to put it in the bottom part of my lid and just kind of do it pretty precisely so that it actually looks like a cut crease whenever I get finished. Um, and then I'm just going to kind of blend out on top of that just to make sure it's all nice and blended up there. And then I'm going to apply some pigment with my finger just to bring out the intensity a little bit more. All right, so for eyeliner, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Eye Studio and this angled brush from Wet n Wild. Honestly, I don't recommend this brush for eyeliner. It's not the greatest and it kind of makes it patchy, so just a fair warning. Then with my Micellar Water, this is like the best way to clean up your eyeliner. Just put it on a Q-tip and just kind of run it along the edge to make a nice sharp line. Um, and sometimes this will happen right here. But if you just take some more on another Q-tip, you can clean it up real quick. So for lashes, I use the Ardell Wispies, and lashes drive me crazy to apply, so I did them off camera, and now I am putting on the rest of my face. And the reason I'm not showing a lot of this is because I'm doing a demo and first impression on the Maybelline Better Skin Foundation and Concealer. So that will be up shortly, and this is just a little sneak peek at the foundation and concealer. Okay, now I'm gonna make some stupid faces because my face is all done, but now we can move back on to eyes. I'm gonna take the deepest red that we used on our crease and I'm going to apply that really close to the lower lash line, as close as I can get it with a nice small brush. And then I'm gonna take a black eyeliner. Any black eyeliner will work. I'm using the Wet n Wild Coal Eyeliner and I'm just going to line that um, waterline. And I'm taking a little bit of a fluffier brush and the first transition shade we used and just blending that all out. Then I'm going to take the nice white matte shade in the palette and I'm just going to apply that to the brow bone just to brighten up everything and put some L'Oreal Telescopic on my lower lash line because that is my favorite mascara. And then for lips, I'm using the NYX uh, Liquid Suede in Sandstorm to top everything off. Then of course I gotta try to be cute and show off my makeup and then notice I have makeup in my teeth. Cute! Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and show me your attempts at a cut crease. I really like to see your first try. And if you think this is a little bad or not quite cut enough, I kind of agree with you, but I still really like the way the eyeshadow look came out, so yeah.
Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this one. And please don't forget to let me know in the comments what you think of the lighting. Is it better? Is it worse? Or is it pretty much the same? I would really like to know and it would help me out a lot. So thank you in advance and I will see you in my next video. Bye!